Hello, I'm Shan Li. Let me show you how to draw the gauge in this plugin called Figma NB Charts. Let's take a look. There are already some basic parameters here. Then I will draw one first to show you the result. We need to create a new frame. The range of this box is the size of the chart. After it is generated, click the drawing button. The gauge is finished quickly. Next, take a look at the parameters here. Here you can set the notch angle. The current notch angle is 60 degrees. I will change it to 180 degrees. Okay, that's it. Next is outer ring width. You can click the question mark on the right to view the diagram. I'll set it a little smaller. Click the drawing button. The effect is like this. Let me change these parameters back first. Here you can set the color of the outer ring and progress bar. We can also switch the endpoints to rounded corners. Okay, the contrast is obvious. Next, I will introduce the settings of the dividing line, which is refers to the scale line in the gauge. I will set the distance from outer ring a little larger. Okay, the distance between the dividing line and the outer ring becomes larger. What if this distance is negative? This dividing line comes inside the outer ring. Now, change the distance back. The dividing line is divided into large dividing line and small dividing line. This number of divisions determines how many divisions the dial is divided into. I'll change it smaller. Before it was 10, 20, 30. It's 20, 40, 60 now. Next, I will increase the length and width of the divider line. Then change the color to a darker color. The result is like this. I'll change them back first. The operation of the small dividing line is the same. The tick text refers to the words 20, 40. We can also turn off this switch to not display text. These parameters are easy to understand. I'll change this distance to be larger and see the result. Obviously, the text is further away from the outer ring. Now, change it back. Next is the pointer. Pointers come in two styles. Let's look at another style. This is the pointed pointer. Here you can set its width, length, and color. I now change the color to red. We can also remove the center circle. Click the drawing button. Let's see the result. Finally, the data settings. The current range of this data is 0 minus 100. The value is 70. So this pointer points to 70. Now, change the data value to 40. Then the pointer points to 40. So does the outer ring. Now, Change the value to 70. At the same time, increase the data range. Then where the pointer points is automatically calculated. Okay, this part of the tutorial is over. Thanks.